I am Ravindra Juvekar, and this is the story of my second life after I was infected by the Parkinson's disease ten years back. Ravindra was a very jovial person. Enjoyed music. and living life to its fullest till he got afflicted with parkinson's disease this is his off condition now his life revolves around taking medicines and timing it to adjust with meals the next is called dose hota hai 11 baje ke baad 3 baje tak isme ke tor sa change hota hai mood baithne mein dikkat peet mein bahut pain hota hai zyada der baithne se aur sofa mein agar baith gaya to uthne ka इशू होता है पकड़ के जोर लगाना पड़ता है कभी कभी दूसरे को भी बताना पड़ता है लेकिन कभी नॉर्मल तो सिस्टम कभी अच्छी रहती है कभी ख़राब होती है पोजीशन तो अच्छा रहता है तब ये इंटरटेनमेंट होता है वो इंस्ट्रूमेंट कैसी हो वो भी बजाता हूँ मैं लेकिन वो फिंगर अभी उसमें बैठी नहीं ना काँपती है तो उसमें बराबर प्रेस नहीं होती है ताकि उंगली को भी थोड़ा सा ये हो जाता है एक्सरसाइज हो जाता है नहीं तो दिन भर वो कांपने से पूरा ये शोल्डर पूरा दर्द होता रहता है इसलिए थोड़ी एक्टिविटी करते रहते हैं उसमें अभी ये पैर में थोड़ा नहीं प्रॉब्लम था थोड़ा थोड़ा अभी इसमें भी आने लगा राइट पैर में तो उठना भी मुश्किल है अभी आजकल नया प्रॉब्लम क्या हो गया चलने के लिए होता नहीं है दीवार को पकड़ के चलता हो या तो ये घुटना देखो मेरा चल चल कर कैसा हो गया है ये देखो सब नीचे चल कर ये गिर गया था स्कूटर से साइलेंसर से पूरा जल गया था ये तब तो कोई ना कोई आदमी चाहिए साथ में इससे उठने के लिए दिक्कत होती है रात को हो गया ना इसे मोमेंट रात का ऐसे और ऐसे भी नहीं होता है बॉडी पूरा स्टीप होता है इसलिए बेड निकाल दिया सो पकम बेड ले लिया कर ताकि उतरने के लिए आसानी हो उठ उठना है तो ऐसे टर्न करके नीचे ऐसे करके ये आवाज आ रहा है कड़क कड़क कर हड्डियों का पूरा आवाज है इसको लेकर बाथरूम वगैरह जाना है तो
टर्न करना भी टर्न नहीं करने वाला आ बिठा देना तो ढंग से हाथ दर्द करे तो करे क्या बताओ कुछ कर नहीं सकते उसको सपोर्ट भी नहीं दे सकते हाउ एवर वन दी इफेक्ट ऑफ मेडिसिन and the on period would set in the old ravindra was back making himself busy either watering plants and taking care of his beautiful garden singing hindali aayo jab deep chale aana जब संकेत मिलन का भूल न जाना मेरा प्यार न बिसराना जब दी जलिया जब शांधलिया reading newspapers his determination to remain independent would bring him to make tea on his own or even for the guest that he was attending to तो उनने ये मेडिसिन साहब लिखे थे बोला दस साल तक आपको कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है मेडिसिन लेते रहो छः महीना सात महीना हुआ मेडिसिन लिया तो मेडिसिन के बाद कोई असर ही नहीं ज़्यादा बढ़ गया डबल जो था उसमें भी और बढ़ गया फिर क्या आप क्या करेंगे अभी करके तो ए, एक दिन देखा उधर का इसमें यूट्यूब में तोशी साहब तो मैंने बाम डिस्कस किया डॉक्टर से हमारी फैमिली तो मैंने बोला आपको लगता है तो आप जाकर मिल लो ना फिर सर से मिले तब उन्होंने बोला ये करना ज़रूरी है क्योंकि साइड इफेक्ट नहीं होना चाहिए नहीं तो गोली का क्या है आप गोली खा रहे हैं और उसका असर नहीं हुआ तो किडनी और लिवर डैमेज होते हैं आई एम मैनी टाइम्स आस्क एज टू वेन शुड द पेशेंट ऑफ पार्किसन डिजीज एक्चुअली कंसिडर थिंकिंग अबाउट सर्जिकल इंटरवेंशन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू in a little detail there are three important problems about a patient of parkinson disease as the disease progresses one of them is what we call motor fluctuation what is motor fluctuation sometimes there is an improvement with medicine which is supposed to last for 3 to 4 hours but the improvement doesn't last for 3 4 hours it just vanishes in one hour or one and a half hour sometimes the patient takes a medicine he expects the improvement to come in half an hour because that is a natural way it used to happen but especially on a day when he is supposed to go out or attend a social function the power of the medicine doesn't come what the patient described he did not feel the on after the medicine and he is waiting 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 and the on doesn't come 
the more anxious he becomes the more elusive the on becomes so this is motor fluctuation the second aspect is dyskinesia dyskinesias are involuntary movement at the peak dose of medication or when the dose of the medication is wearing off either way sometimes these patients develop involuntary movement like dancing and in most of the patient they are mild in some patients they are moderate and in very few patient it is very severe and these are the side effect of medicine you can't take more medicine you cannot take less medicine and this is causing a lot of disturbance in patients activities of daily living and his social life and the third is another side effect of medicine called hallucinations patients start imaging things which are not existing they doubt start doubting their partners they start imaging people watching them people seeing them in fact my second patient of deep brain stimulation surgery in 1998 had a was a lady who was unable to change her clothes because she felt that someone is always watching her so these are the three different parts of problems that the advanced patients of parkinson's disease suffer and that is when you should think about deep brain stimulation surgery because deep brain stimulation surgery will help you to cut down on the medication it also helps to resolve this motor fluctuation which are on off on off it fluctuating and the third part is that because it is substituting or working similar to medicine you can have lesser medicine and hence lesser side effects uh, my husband uh, mr ravindra zuvekar he was suffering from this parkinson's disease since last 12 years so now his condition was deteriorating day by day hamare college ke dost hai mahendra pawar ji unki bhi yahan pe dbs surgery hui hai jo hone ke baad unse main milne gaya tha unki halat itni nazuk thi ki 10 pair se unhe chalna bhi tha 10 kadam chalna tha to kam se kam mujhe aadha ghanta lagta tha tha lekin ab main unko dekh raha tha ki itne speed mein wo chal rahe the इतना इम्प्रूवमेंट मुझे देखकर बहुत अच्छा लगा और उसी वक्त मेरे कॉलेज की दोस्त है चित्रा उनका मुझे कहते कहते उन्होंने भी कहा था कि मेरे हस्बैंड को भी थोड़ी ऐसी प्रॉब्लम आ रही है तो तुरंत मैंने उनको ये बता दिया कि ऐसे से महेंद्र वो भी जानते थे उनके क्योंकि वो हमारे कॉलेज का दोस्त माई आवर फैमिली फ्रेंड सजेस्टेड नेम ऑफ डॉक्टर परेश दोषी हु इज स्पेशलिस्ट इन डूइंग डी बी एस सर्जरी सो वी वेंट वी टूक अपॉइंटमेंट इज अपॉइंटमेंट And uh, काम क्या करते थे अर्लियर आई वॉज इन डिफेंस अच्छा डिफेंस में उसके बाद स्टॉक एक्सचेंज में नेशनल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज में तो इंडियन आर्मी में से रिटायरमेंट होता है ओके फिफ्टी एट है अभी तो तो उधर से क्या किया है तो उधर से मेरे को प्रॉब्लम होने लगा है ज्यादा मुझे कितना साल से अच्छा वन ईयर बैक हो गए We are taking no no problem. At no, you are young. You should not because the purpose of surgery is to make him join the work. Because घर बैठेंगे तो तकलीफ होती है. He is very much ready for that. हाँ. So let me explain you what is deep brain stimulation. Basically, deep, this is a cartoon of deep brain stimulation. You can see that we drill two small holes on the top of the patient head. a very thin wire called electrodes are placed into the brain in the subthalamic nucleus or the target of the brain and these wires are connected to a pacemaker like shown here and it delivers the current within the brain as this pacemaker is slightly larger you have to implant it at under the infraclavicular region let me show you again once again this is the target small hole electrodes are sent into the brain connected to a pacemaker the pacemaker is an electrical stimulator which sends current into the brain this is the way we do it how intraoperatively we assess the patient this is a patient undergoing deep brain stimulation for tremors you can see there is a tremor in the patient's head patient fully awake rehta hai zara bhi उसमें डर नहीं होता है पेन नहीं होता है और जब भी हम स्टिमुलेट करते हैं तो यू कैन सी दैट देर इज इमीजिएट इंप्रूवमेंट इन द सिम्टम्स एंड दिस इज द वे टू एसेस दैट वी आर इन द राइट प्लेस एंड इफ यू वांट टू सी हाउ मच इंप्रूवमेंट अ पेशेंट कैन गेट दिस इज अ वीडियो विच शोज पेशेंट बिफोर एंड आफ्टर डीप ब्रेन स्टिमुलेशन दिस इज अ पेशेंट फिफ्टी एट ईयर ओल्ड लेडी सीवियर ऑफ कंडीशन अनेबल टू वॉक इवन टेक अ फ्यू स्टेप्स
unable to walk take a few steps before the surgery this is the video before the surgery in her off condition let me now show you a video how she improved after surgery again this video has been recorded in off condition only you can see her stoop posture has gone away she is now able to walk properly she looks much younger also the age has come out and the hair has grown so it is few months after surgery and you can see that there is a significant level of improvement after the surgery तो उन्होंने हमारे सारे डाउट्स बहुत ही अच्छी तरह से क्लियर किए और हमें सर्जरी के बारे में पूरा एश्योरेंस दे दिया कि परफेक्टली नॉर्मल हो जाएंगे आपके हस्बैंड आफ्टर दिस सर्जरी सो देन वी डिसाइडेड टू गो फॉर द सर्जरी वी रियली थैंक यू थैंक्स द एंटायर टीम ऑफ डॉक्टर परेश जोशी सर फॉर दिस पॉजिटिव अप्रोच एंड गिविंग अस दिस करेज टू टेक द दिस डिसीजन ऑफ डी सर्जरी थैंक यू डॉक्टर Now let me explain you how we perform surgery at Jaslok Hospital and Research Center. We have found that MRI is the most crucial part about getting a successful outcome of deep brain stimulation surgery and hence we perform all our MRIs for planning under general anesthesia. This MRIs are typically 40 45 minute sequences and it is very difficult for patient to lie still. Even in a 10 minute sequence if the patient moves the head once that sequence is wasted for us. so in order to get the high level of high quality of mri we perform mri under a three tesla which is the highest magnetom machine in the country and get the best images that are possible the second part of the surgery is performed under local anesthesia this is very important to us because we want patient to give us the feedback about how well the target localization is let me explain you this in a little more de detail The first way to explore the target is by microelectrode recording. We record neuronal activities from single cell using a state of the art microelectrode recording. This tells us how accurate we are in localizing the target. Once we have found the target or the track in which the maximum record amount of recording is available, we do a neurophysiological stimulation wherein the patient's response to the stimulation is assessed. so if the patient has tremors the tremors will stop patient has rigidity the rigidity will improve patient is slow or bradykinetic the bradykinesia improves so this is the response to the stimulation not only that is important but we also want to ensure that there are no side effects once we have confirmed that we then implant the electrode in that trajectory now this whole process takes around 4 to 5 hours despite our high level of efficiency the surgery is like a military drill people who have observed this have found that it is so well planned and meticulously executed one of the reason being that we have a very huge experience of this and the team has been consistent for last 15 years working together so it becomes an automatic process for them we have more than 650 deep brain stimulation surgeries performed at jaslok hospital which is one of the highest in asia in a single given center by a single doctor so once we have got this surgery done completed we do not want the patient to be subjected to a general anesthesia for implantation of the pacemaker on the same day that would save some cost but it increases the risk for the patient so we then bring the patient back to the room the patient is given his lunch he is able to take his levodopa medicines and then he is relaxing in the afternoon next day in the morning when he is fresh we take him to the operation theater and put the pacemaker under general anesthesia this again is a two hour procedure once he comes back around 11 o'clock to the room at around 3 o'clock he can take his lunch and then he is ready for next part of the treatment which is post operative programming which starts on day 3 4 or 5 depending on the recovery of the patient and how he feels most of the patients are on a stable post operative programming by the end of a week or the time of the discharge and we are able to reduce the medication by 30 to 50% depending on a patient to patient basis it is the day of admission for surgery and ravindra is entering jaslok hospital with great expectations he knows that if all goes well he would be relieved of his misery in 3 to 4 days he is now checking in at the nursing station and he is guided to his room
the functional neurosurgery department at Jaslok Hospital as a dedicated wing for the deep brain stimulation patients. The staff here is well trained for handling these patients. The atmosphere and ambience is created to make the patient most comfortable. Even the general ward beds have lesser density than the regular general ward beds of the hospital. Once settled in the room, the patient will change into the hospital clothes and his pre-operative assessment will be performed. This will form the basis of his Parkinson's disease management during the years to come. First, the patient is assessed in his off condition. This is supposed to be his worst condition. Video recording and UPDRS scorings are done at this time. After the evaluation in off condition, the patient is given one and a half times the usual dose of levodopa and reassessed in on condition or the condition which makes him normal or nearly normal. It can be seen here that there is remarkable improvement in his symptoms. His tremors have disappeared. He is able to get up independently and walk almost normally. This is much different from what we saw when he was entering the hospital. Dr. Doshi tells us that the patient would get this level of improvement after deep brain stimulation surgery and this improvement could be across 70 to 80 percent of his day. There is a lot of research work which is undertaken at the Jaslok hospital by Dr. Doshi and his team and hence some of the evaluation are very unique to this center. However, the benefit of this is to the patient. Besides this routine medical, cognitive evaluations are also performed to ensure that the patient is fit for surgery. If needed, references to the specialists like endocrinologist or cardiologist are also made. It is the morning, one day prior to surgery. Ravindra has been kept fasting for the MRI scan, which is very crucial for the success of the surgery. At the Jaslok Hospital, this MRI is done under general anesthesia to ensure the best possible imaging and hence the most optimal outcome. Dr. Doshi himself supervises the entire MRI process and does the calculations to arrive at the target coordinates. Dr. Doshi is a very obsessive person and he is not satisfied until he sees the entire MRI that he desires to see. Sometimes this means repeating the MRI two to three times with different parameters, but for him, nothing less than perfect is acceptable. He thereafter plans the surgery himself. This again is a critical stage of the surgery. If there is any inaccuracy of even two millimeters, it can lead to surgical failure. There is a mixed feeling of anxiety, optimism, apprehension in the air. The patient is being taken to the operation theatre.
Dr. Doshi enters Jaslok Hospital after a good night's sleep. Cool, calm and rested to undertake another deep brain stimulation surgery. Meanwhile, Ravindra is being connected to various monitoring machines to ensure the parameters are perfectly monitored. Dr. Doshi enters the operation theatre at this time. The first step of the surgery is fixation of a stereotactic frame. Dr. Doshi and his team does this under local anesthesia. A local anesthetic injection is given for the numbing of the pain. Except this part, there is no pain during this procedure. This part of the surgery is usually done in the wards in most western world. However, the obsession of Dr. Doshi for safety standards of the patient leads him to do this in the operation theatre. This frame will form the main anchor and basis of targeting the subthalamic nucleus during the surgery. The next step is to acquire stereotactic CT scan. This is done to help the localization of the target that has been previously determined on the MRI. Dr. Doshi along with his team ensures that the CT scan is performed in a particular protocol and good enough for him to be used in the surgery. The patient is now back in the operation room and the cleaning of the operating part is started. The patient is connected to oxygen cannula and given a comfortable position with proper support. The next step is to merge the CT scan that is acquired by stereotactic protocols with the preoperative MRI that was acquired prior to the surgery. Once again, Dr. Doshi himself conducts this exercise to ensure accuracy. This particular step not only provides the accurate target coordinates to the team, but Dr. Doshi plans the trajectory in such a way that it does not cause any damage to the brain when inserting the electrode. This is one of the crucial parts of the surgery and at many centers, the neurosurgeon does not spend time to plan this and hence the risks of surgery increase. Once Dr. Doshi is satisfied, he compares these coordinates with those obtained from the CT scan earlier. Once again, this is an important step and ensures there is no mistake in both the sets of coordinates. This removes all chances of human error in deriving at the target coordinates. Jaslok Hospital has one of the most elaborate and advanced setups for conducting DBS surgeries. They have state-of-the-art micro-electrode recording machine that is managed by a postgraduate doctor research fellow in neurophysiology who has been working only on micro-electrode recordings. This is unlike all the other centers where unqualified company personnel handle this equipment. The team has used advanced anesthesia equipment with the senior-most anesthesiologist managing the patient even though the surgery is done under local anesthesia. 
The intraoperative image fusion softwares of two different companies also ensure high level of safety and accuracy along with a backup plan if one of the computers shows any doubtful error. Now the image intensifier is being brought into the operating field and this will be draped in a sterile manner and this will stay in place during the entire surgery. A 7 to 8 member team is involved in surgery to perform different tasks at different time points. The surgery is an example of high level of precision, reminding us of a military drill which is disciplined, meticulous and motivated. Every member of the team is important and performs the assigned task. The most unique part of Dr. Doshi's team is the consistency as most team members are with him for more than 15 years and this itself ensures a high level of efficiency which is critical for the success of this kind of surgery. The surgical incision is being planned. Dr. Doshi is now setting up the frame to start the surgery. Dr. Doshi will now prepare for microelectrode recording, which is a single cell recording from the brain cells using thin hair like electrodes. Dr. Doshi is now preparing to explore the subthalamic nucleus region through microelectrode recordings. Microelectrode recording is performed at an incremental depth of 1 mm as the electrodes advance towards the target. As the microelectrode enters the subthalamic nucleus, the firing on the machine changes and the sound is similar to the firecrackers of Diwali and the joy of the team is also similar as they have now been able to locate the target accurately. Dr. Doshi's team has an experience of recording more than 2000 microelectrode recording trajectories. Dr. Doshi is now doing a baseline clinical assessment to document the improvement in the symptoms by stimulation. Initially, he will assess for tremors, rigidity and bradykinesia as these are the symptoms that will improve by stimulation. When the electrode enters the subthalamic nucleus, there is an instantaneous and significant reduction in the rigidity, tremor and improvement in bradykinesia. Okay, three. Relax. Yeah, have to relax. Eighty percent, seventy to eighty percent improvement. Have gone my heart. Pura. Mild dyskinesia in the upper limb. Cycle. Okay. How does this feel like? This one better. Better than medicine, sir. Huh. Dr. Doshi will now replace the microelectrode with the permanent electrode under fluoroscopic guidance. The same thing is repeated on the other side. This is Dr. Sonali and we are doing the neurophysiological assessment to further fine tune the electrode localization. So our aim is to identify the best station which shows the characteristic subthalamic nucleus activity. Uh, in, in this case, uh, STN is our target. I'll show an example. You can see the irregular firing and increased background activity for central track. However, there is no spiking activity or increased background in anterior track which is the blue uh, waveform. The stereotactic frame is now removed from the patient's head. Did you find it? Not too bad? Relax. Okay. This is the entire team that made this complex surgery possible. The patient is taken down for a check CT scan to make sure everything is fine by confirming the exact position of the electrode. Whilst the patient is undergoing post-operative scans, Dr. Doshi, a relaxed person now, is going for his well-deserved cup of coffee.
we have now got the post operative scan of the patient and we shall be merging it with the pre operative scan and the planning scan to see how accurate our lead placement is we are now seeing the post operative ct scan uh, this is the target right stn we have selected and the red dot indicates the target and you can see that the electrode is within the target and the bottom of the electrode as we had chosen 2 mm below it has gone 2 mm below the target similarly let us go for the left STN and left STN this is the target and you can see that the electrode is placed well within the target. Again this left electrode is 1 or 2 millimeter below that is right 3 millimeter below the target. So, it encompasses the target and the superior part of the target. Dr. Doshi would visit the patient in his room to ensure that he is comfortable and has been provided with food and medicine. At this time, he also explains to the patient's relatives how the surgery has gone and what should be the expected outcome. You found the improvement? Yes, sir. How did the medicine was better or less? Better, sir. Did you tell the medicine? Yes. 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 No, no, he had more improvement even than better than the medicine also. Okay. Yeah. Thank so, you. once we put the pacemaker, all these things will go away, okay. this little tremor or not. Yeah. You had your food? Yeah. Good. Feeling tired? No, not no. feeling. Not tired. <laughs> Already, huh? <laughs> yeah. Charged up. Yeah. Uh, very satisfactory. The whole surgery was also yeah. quite good. Okay. Because the anxiety and the stress is there. No, no, the patient's operation is very tension. No, there is no other patient. If I stay, then I also have tension. If I stay, then I also have tension. But this is a brain operation. But that is right. First time I am admitted. You are admitted for the first time in your life. Yes, sir. That is the reason. Because training is not done. No, you are admitted for the first time in your life. Yes, sir. That is the reason. Because training is not done. No, you are admitted for the first time in your life. Yes, sir. That is the reason. Because training is not done. No, you are admitted for the first time in your life. Yes, sir. That is the reason. Because training अभी जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी एडमिट करने की चलो ओके थैंक यू सर या वेल अच्छा कैसा गया आपका राइट नाइट हाउ वाज योर नाइट डिड यू रेस्ट वेल यस सर यू हैड अ फुल स्लीप यस सर एंड लुकिंग एब्सोल्युटली नॉर्मल नो कंफ्यूजन नो मेमोरी प्रॉब्लम गुड गुड सो वी विल बी डूइंग द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द सर्जरी टुडे नाउ पेसमेकर इंप्लांटेशन हां जैसे आपको एक्सप्लेन किया था वी विल बी पुटिंग द पेसमेकर ओवर हियर आर यू रेडी आई एम लुकिंग I'm looking forward. Okay, great. Okay, chalo. The patient is being wheeled to the operation theater for the pacemaker placement. The pacemaker placement surgery has started. This is typically done under general anesthesia. The pacemaker is placed below the collarbone with the help of tunneling tool. The leads are connected to the pacemaker with the help of an extension wire. Once again, the obsession of Dr. Doshi forces him to do this entire surgery himself. And that was a day in the life of Dr. Paresh Doshi, a deep brain stimulation specialist at Jaslok Hospital. Programming is the most critical aspect about deep brain stimulation surgery. If you do not know how to program the pacemaker, the pacemaker is no good. And with the increasing number of neuromodulation technologies and the companies producing deep brain stimulation available in India and the type of pacemakers that they are uh, selling along with the different types of electrode, it is very difficult for a single center to develop an adequate expertise or experience in all these technologies at one time. At Just Look Hospital and Research Center, we are proud to tell that all these new technologies are first introduced with us so that we can give them a feedback as to how efficiently to work and make it easy for other doctors to use this technology. We have a large turnaround of patients and hence 
we have enough number of cases for different technologies and different types of electrodes to learn ourselves and get acquainted with the programming methods. Once we have got a stable programming method, it becomes very easy for patient to get a better outcome. In fact, at our center, we every month reprogram five to seven patients who have been operated elsewhere and who have not been able to get the benefit. We are able to capture back the benefit just by changing the programming stimulation parameters of this patient. Not only that, we also conduct several research projects and show the world how to efficiently use the newer technologies and make it more efficient and be with better outcome for the patients. पार्किंसनच प्रॉब्लेम होता बारा वर्षापासून सुरुवात झाली त्यानंतर मग ते आम्हाला व्हिडिओ काल की पहिले जोशी आहेत ते जसलोक हॉस्पिटलला त्यांचं डी बी एस सर्जरी होते तर डी बी एस सर्जरीमध्ये झाली आणि छान त्यांचा आम्हाला रिस्पॉन्स मिळाला म्हणजे सर्जरीनंतर जो जो प्रॉब्लेम होता मोस्टली नाईन्टी फाय नाईन्टी टू नाईन्टी नाईन पर्सेंट क्लिअर झाले पाठीत चमक होती मला बसला माणूस ठेवलेला एक वेगळा स बाथरूमला जाण्यासाठी उत्ता येत नव्हतं पण सगळे पूर्ण बॉडी स्टीप झाली स्टीपनेस खूप होता चालताना बॅलन्स नाही तर होतं आता या सगळ्या गोष्टी बंद झाल्या आहेत मायनर एखाद दुसरे जे प्रॉब्लेम आहेत बोलण्याचे थोडेफार स्पीच थेरपी देऊन किंवा ओकल कॉल काय झाली ट्रीटमेंट सांगेल त्याप्रमाणे मी करत आहे बाकी म्हणजे छान आहे म्हणजे ऑपरेशन झाल्यानंतर तुम्हाला जेवढ्या तुमच्या प्रॉब्लेम्स ते रिलीफ होतात वेगवेगळे पेशंट असतात वेगवेगळ्या प्रॉब्लेम्स असतात त्याप्रमाणे ते त्या त्याच्यावर ट्रीटमेंट करतात पल पल दिल के पा तुम रहती हो पल पल दिल के पा तुम रहती हो जीवन मीटी प्या ये कहती हो पासून सुरुवात झाली असून मार्चमध्ये तब्बल तेवीस जणांना उष्माघातात चळफटका बसला अमरावती तिघांना पुणे रायगड कोल्हापूर येथील दोघांना उष्माघातात लागला